Hello, my name is Simon and this is a short tutorial to get you started with the React tool. The scene we have here is a simple 2D shooter. As you can see, you can fly around with A, the D keys, and you can fire off rockets. Eventually, after a small time, the rockets will explode. There we go. What I'm going to do is use the React tool to add a homing behavior to the rockets. Once you've installed the React package under the window menu, load up the React editor. As this is a new behavior, click the new button and I'll save this as Homer. React is based on the concept of behavior trees. So if you really want to get stuck into using React for creating AI, you need to know about behavior trees. And there's plenty of resources on the web for that. The first thing we're going to do is add a sequence of actions which will make the rocket follow a target. Call this condition has target. Because this is a sequence node, it will run all its children until the first one fails. So if this condition fails, it will drop out and run the next item which we haven't added yet. If the homing missile has a target, the next thing we'll do is run an action and we'll call it follow target. It looks like we've got a common variable here. So let's place it up in here as a property so that we can see it in the inspector when the game's running. Okay. If our missile doesn't have a target, we want it to find a target. How do we do that? Let's add a selector node. A selector node is different from a sequence in that it will keep running through its children until one succeeds, whereas the sequence will run through its children until one fails. Let's add an action called find tag and if we can't find a target this action will fail which means the selector will then run the next action and we'll make that action something simple like turn right So there's a very simple graph which should make a homing missile, but I can see a problem. We need to give it some time to find a target as it travels through the air. So what I'm going to do is add a decorator which will allow this action to run for a period of time before it fails. So let's cut that action, paste it under there, and let's move this one to the bottom. Just for a bit of documentation, let's write down what these nodes do. Okay, it's all looking good. Now that this graph is probably going to do what we want it to do, we press the generate button. This actually generates a script. So what I'm going to do now 
Let's fill in the code in homer.cs to make the behavior work as we intended it to do. So this method is fairly obvious. It needs to return a failure if we don't have a target. So I'll change that to target is null. Now, our follow target action is a little bit more complicated. What we're going to do is just simply steer the missile towards the target using some code I've written previously. It's not going to loop, it's always going to succeed. So we'll just make it look like this. So essentially what this line does is it rotates to look at the target at a maximum of 180 degrees per second. Now we need to implement our find target function. So let's use some code. So this let's populate that variable. So any game objects tagged with target will appear in this array. And then we loop through them. And if they're closer than 50 units, we'll set them to the target. Instead of returning true, what we'll do is we'll set action complete true, and then it will drop out of the loop. Here, and yield a success. And we're going to rely on our timeout function to make sure this doesn't run forever. Turn right, it'll be very simple. Once again, some code. Simply makes the missile go hard right. Okay, let's see if this compiles. good. So we assign Homer to our rocket. Then we also need to tell Homer about the React graph we wish to use. Now we hit play. Fire a missile. Oh, it's turned right. I'll turn right again. looking for a target. This cube over here is actually a target. So if we loop around, fire off a shot, we'll see the targeting or homing behavior engage. Now if this missile comes within 50 units of the target, it should home in. Very simple example of how to use React.